Mother John Sr. reporter asked Medium to silence anti-war leftists, okay? When news first broke that Medium, one of my primary blogging platforms, has closed accounts uh, of Trump-supporting pundits like Mike Chernovich and uh, Jack Posibiec and Laura Loomer, I've only heard of one of those people, uh, I tweeted the following in response. The only people cheering for this are leftists who haven't been paying attention and centrists who have. This ongoing trend of marginalizing online dissent is already impacting the far left. Um, hours later, right on cue, prominent Mother Jones senior reporter Jack B Shane Bauer was singing the praises of Medium's recent account suspensions and tagged Medium's Twitter account saying they need to take it further and include left-wing writers like myself. This is good, but if Medium is serious about cracking down on conspiracy theorists, it needs to go beyond the alt-right and rein in the garbage published on Syria by people like Caitlin Johnson. Uh, see how quickly this happened? Yeah, so that's... And yeah, this is an interesting article by Caitlin. And yeah, it, it goes... This goes into how tribal people are right now and how they don't realize that they're, uh, they're hurting themselves. Um, so yeah, it's not okay when intelligence agencies gang up on a president just because they don't like that president, just because you don't like that president. I don't like Trump. Trump's terrible. But you don't think the intelligence agencies would do the same thing to an anti-war president? They would. Because all they want is the war machine to go on like usual. That's all they want. That is all they want. They don't think in terms of you or me. They don't. They think in terms of defense, defense, and more defense. That's how their brain works. You and I can't even wrap our head around that because we don't think in terms of endless war. A, because we have a moral compass, and B, because our livings don't depend on it. That A part is way more important than that B part, by the way. But I'm just saying... This is their life's work, defense and endless war. That is their life's work. Oh, and these are people that the left are celebrating, by the way. The left are celebrating these people. They're, they're patriots now. Jesse points out, Russiagate has led to as many attacks on my rights as Trump. abso freaking lootly Look what's happening to content creators. Every, every other day, it's a new thing for me on YouTube. Every other day. And I'm not alone. It's not just me. It's everybody. Um, FBI equals the national police, Derek points out. You're right. So, I mean, it's one of those things you can't... When you're going to let Silicon Valley determine what is and isn't free speech, like, like you're, you're coming upon a dangerous, slippery slope. And I don't know if you've never read Orwell <laughs> or like what, because I see people that are supposed to be on the left celebrating stuff like this. No, this isn't to be celebrated. It's not to be celebrated when uh, outlets are cracking down on what is and isn't free speech and they have no business making that determination. If somebody's speech violates the First Amendment, well, that's different. If you do one of the things that violate the First Amendment, that's different. You know, if you have a, a call to violence there, or if you have a, um, you know, like, like there, there's like nine things that, that violate the First Amendment, like, like call to violence or like, like, like inciting like an actual mob that would do something to violence, um, straight, straight up obscenity, which, which, you know, is vaguely defined. But, you know, unless you're doing that, no outlet has the right to determine what is and isn't free speech. However, these are private companies. Little can be done to stop them. So to be blind to the cyclical effects of this, I mean, it's one of those things. First, they came for the communists, and I did not speak out. Then they came for the trade unionists. And yes, Russia Gates connected to all this. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That was a clip from Get Your News On with Ron, the world's first viewer curated streaming news show. What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone, or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just Get Your News On with Ron over on Reddit. And that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Placone so you can participate. 
And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on patreon.com slash romplacone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town, and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.